Hello. So today I'll show you how to turn a Windows computer, PC computer, into a modern television. So you open a, a web browser right here, you open a new tab, and you type uh, Omega, like the Greek letter, omega.gg. You press enter and you uh, get to the home page of Omega. So here you get four options. You click on Tvolution. Then you click on Get Tvolution right here and download right there. So now you get redirected to the Windows Store and all you have to do is click up here. Here it says in French, but it might be written in English if you're in another country. It's entirely free for now. So uh, you should get it uh, while well, you can get it for free. It might be different in the future. So here, here I click on get it. Uh, it asks me whether I want to open the Microsoft Store. I'll say yes. And so the Microsoft uh, Store will open. Then you end up on this page uh, with, an, with an install button. Here it's already installed because I have it on my computer. So I click on open. And just like that, I've installed and run uh, Tvolution on my computer. So what you're seeing here is a video tag. A video tag is essentially a smart QR code that lets you connect both from a phone and from a, a classical QR code reader, if you want, and from what I call the semantic player. So I'll show you how to do that right now. This is an Android phone here. So I'll un unlock it and I'll open a QR code scanner. So using the QR, the, the QR code scanner, I'll scan this. And, and open it. So here I stumble on this page, you've opened a video tag. And the reason I'm redirected to that is because in order to read a video tag properly, you need a semantic player. So I'll click on the monkey. And here I'll be able to download Motion Monkey. Motion Monkey will add as a remote, will, ask, will, will act, sorry, as a remote for Tvolution. So you'll be able to uh, control it remotely. I click on download. Here it's already installed, but normally you click on install, then open. And now I'm in Motion Monkey. You now want to click on the camera button here. And then you're going to scan the video tag. As you can see, I just scanned it and the background changes. The reason for that, because it, it, because it tells me that it's successfully connected and both devices are paired. In order to achieve that, both devices, the Android phone and the Windows PC, need to be on the same Wi-Fi uh, network for this to work. So next, I'll search for something like music. I'll click the first one. And as you can see, uh, both devices are synchronized. Here, when you click there, you have a bunch of options. I'll switch to full screen here. And I'll scroll the content. I can check out on the big screen, the cover. And once I found something that I like, I just press on play. So here you see Tvolution is loading. And there we go. Playback has just started on Tvolution. I can use Monkey as a remote here. I can look at the related tracks. I can change the volume. I can even change the screen it's displayed on. Here it's on screen one. Now screen two, and uh, you know, whenever I want, I can switch to another content. So that's how you turn your Windows PC desktop into an entirely open television of the 21st century that supports YouTube. Uh, Dailymotion, Vimeo, SoundCloud, and even BitTorrent uh, content with subtitles. So that's pretty neat if you ask me. Hopefully it will be useful for you and you'll find value for you and your family. Thank you very much.